Although, I know safety drivers take over first and ask questions later. Yes. Kind of thing. Um, it's a good strategy. Yeah. A lot of FSD testers should adopt it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and I guess they can go back in simulation later and test it out. Um, but there's... There used to be a whole lot more braking that was kind of whiplash. Like, there's been... the, the I do kind of miss the sudden whiplash braking. <laughs> it was kind of fun, you know, added a bit of spice to it. Um, but it's all gone now. <laughs> so does the safety driver send feedback in real time, or do you think they like fill out a report later, or is it just yeah, they, they sent have, to Waymo? Or? They have buttons on the steering wheel. Oh. At least in uh, back in the day they did. Uh, no, I still see some buttons on the steering wheel over here. So we're entering Century City now. Oh, close. Sweet. We're at the park. Hopefully I don't have to fight with the pickup. You drop off spot. <laughs> so I actually nice. recorded this park and the video will probably be out by the time this one's out. Yeah, so we get two two goes at this. Two goes at this. When I went in there, if you haven't seen the video yet, um, it went in through a half open gate and then it wasn't able to find its way out. And then it did several loops until it eventually figured it out. Oh, that's this one. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I actually had it miss turning into the parking lot once, and it made a whole loop around the neighborhood. Oh. Don't know why. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I've only had a couple of missed turns before. Right next to Fox Studios. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Is this the... the, uh... Crosswalk Karaoke thing? Like James Corden crosswalk. Yes. <laughs> nice. I saw the Eddie Burback video about that. Uh, Eddie Burback just released a video on AI, and he took a Waymo ride in LA. I, I was using that video to fall asleep last night. I, I was like, "Well, Waymo's a big boy now. Right, all grown up." Oh, see, so he just oh, missed, just missed that. it again. Yeah. So now let's see what. Crazy. Time went up. Yeah, it did. Now the weird thing is, I think the spots are there just because if it wants to drop off someone oh. close to the park, mm. it has to spin around for some reason. This it can't a, just make a little U-turn. This is a new route. Now what are we looking at here in terms of? Oh, there's okay. So it still plans to go all the way down. Yeah, I just missed it. Unless it starts playing over right here, which would be really annoying, but... Some strange turn signal action going on there. Maybe I should get the drop-off ready again. Yeah, is this one of those five-mile-an-hour parking lots? Could be. It's doing yeah. six. It is doing six, which is technically not five. <laughs> um, I think it's mapped to six as the limit, <laughs> for some reason. Huh. Is that? Yeah, it's, it's staying solid at six. If you notice the visualization the actual path is not complete right now right it's like it's guessing it's, it's kind of wiggling. because this is new yeah it's wiggling too i wonder i have a feeling we will speed up once it oh is someone going the wrong way uh, oh yeah kind of looks like it oh i think oh maybe yeah, i see the line now it's actually it's supposed to improve his confidence yeah. yeah oh why hmm? Mm. oh we get right up close to that curb that was fun. Should speed up now, yes. See, in my video, I just made that right turn. Yeah. I can go through the parking lot. So, I wonder if it made that judgment call on the amount of space that I had. Mm. And just said, nope, I'm gonna just go farther. Um, yeah, this is interesting. So, is the drop-off still right in that yard? It is, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> but I have a feeling it's gonna be like, let's pull over. And it even wants to go in one of these, like, parking spaces too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Do our sync up? Well, they actually don't show the predicted. Oh, for the, the escape? Yeah. But the problem was, if someone wanted to drop off here, Waymo couldn't make a simple U-turn. It would have to go all the way inside this weird parking lot just to spin back around. Hmm. The gate's fully open today. Uh -huh. <laughs> Almost there. Don't forget your phone, keys, oh. or bag. 
and any items in the trunk. I really don't think we're supposed to be in there. Yeah, um, the animation is different. If you notice, it's a different sound. It's a different, it's a different it's the sound. Same one as us. They're not playing the phone keys or bag one either. It was just a simple pop up. So, I wonder. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Cool. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting right. and don't forget any items in the trunk. Oh yeah, they add that on. You see that? Onward? Onward! Sweet. I'm disappointed that gate's fully open today. <laughs> yeah. Because it... Oh. Well, we do get a reverse. Nice. Very nice. I do like that somehow whatever they're using to pipe the visual onto that metal screen is is overridden entirely by the backup camera. Which when you think about it for a second, doesn't actually make sense. Yeah. Unless, I don't know, because you would have thought they would have hijacked the display in entirely, but I wonder if it's just totally custom. Wow, I guess it... <laughs> yeah. Cause it fixed it, itself. Oh. Because I remember... Was it was the problem that this is supposed to be a one way in, or the problem was this it? gate was closed, that gate was open. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. There's a big sign that says authorized vehicles only as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was disappointing. I didn't fall for any tricks today. No. We'll get him. We'll get him next time. Yeah. So where are we headed next? We are heading to the, what I call the Gate of Doom. Ooh, I like that. I swear if the gate's open this time after like months of it being closed. <laughs> so is the, the object of the game is to see how fast it will give up and go somewhere else? For, or, for the gate? or For the gate? Well, no, it basically, um, it thinks it can go through. So it's like, it's almost like it's waiting for the gate to open. Oh. And then it finally gives up, but then it's impossible for it to actually get out without it like needing the remote to reverse out. I see. Oh, that should be fun then. I wonder yeah. if they have trouble with gates, because at the main uh, depot in LA, um, they have a gate and they always seem to have problems with it opening and closing. Oh, that's and funny. Coming out. Yeah, it always keeps slamming on the brakes and then going forwards and slamming again. At the Tolinson Street Depot in San Francisco, it's kind of similar. They have the, the guy just sitting in the booth all day hitting the button to open the gate every time one label car comes out. you think that would be automated, considering how connected this car is. Yeah, yeah it's like, hey, there's a car waiting right here. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Like Google level all people with the, the Nest products and everything, they can't figure out an automatic door. <laughs> <Automatic> <laughs> gate. Does Wi-Fi connect it or something? I don't know. There must be a reason for it. I mean, I guess if you need an attendant anyway for security reasons, it's stops them falling asleep. Yeah. James Corden Crosswalk. GPS coordinates. Hey, nah, it's around somewhere around here. We're going to be going to uh, UCLA, which is actually part of the new area. So when they actually announced the Westwood area, it technically wasn't Westwood because it was like a small part of Westwood. The main part of Westwood is like Village in UCLA. Right, right. Now they finally have it. And, um, yeah. Cool. Anything anything uh, fun to see down there that we're gonna check out or just gonna explore? Uh, I mean, in the beginning, they had a grocery store parking lot and it was one of those that was paid. We had to like get a lever and get a ticket. Oh, I see. It was mapped. So first I decided to go in. As and you do. It did get stuck. It nice. needed to call them out. I had to call support. Finally, they had to go through, and then they told me to get out. <laughs> and then it took like five minutes for it to get out of the place. And <laughs> now that spot is nowhere near to be found. Ah. They've probably removed the spot. There you go. So that's what makes me think it's completely automated. Yeah. And here it is. Why did it? Oh. Ooh. They abandoned that. Yeah. And it's 
so much on the fly routing is interesting. But yeah, automated, yeah, you'd, you'd figure they'd have to eventually, because as you scale out and scale out, there's an, there's an exponential curve of how much area you have to cover, and so at some point it just kind of gets ridiculous if you have to yeah. uh, really, you know, plan it by hand. I guess when people um, find suck spots, they remove them. And, yeah, anyway. that's one, one thing you just have to work on. Uh, it's cat and mouse in Phoenix, isn't it? Joel finds stuck spot, rainbow removes. Joel it's, finds stuck stop, rainbow removes. It's, it's, yeah, it's been it's been like that for a long dang time. <laughs> <laughs> but they're getting really good at it now. Um, it's on, I, have, I have basically nothing left. Maybe I need to up my game, but uh, they're taking away all your content. <laughs> yeah, if you if you remember, uh, if anyone remembers video number one oh nine, that was the crazy crazy dead end. It went like in circles a bunch of times. Uh, they actually did remove not that dead end entirely, but only one side of the street uh, parking uh, or the drop off spot for only the right side of that street coming from the outside. So it's it's interesting because if doing that means they actually analyzed the entire situation, figured out exactly what trickery I was doing, and then cut it off right there instead of just banning that entire dead end which is hilarious. Uh, but I, I wasted somebody's time trying to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Those... I'm gonna actually make the, the closer gate our first stop. Oh, perfect. It actually takes off some dollars off the price, too. Nice. Trip updated. Oh, is that? I didn't even notice the inside of the door there is also the piano black shiny. Oh, yeah. Is it the same in the back? Oh, it is. Yeah. And predictably enough, it has a bunch of fingerprints on it. Interesting, because usually it has like silver here. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. The little differences with the eye paces is they blow out new ones. Yeah. This is a bit of a twisty. Yeah, it does kind of look like they're about to just roll out hundreds of new eye paces, which is exciting. Let's see. Yeah, that place in Arizona you found. Yeah, that was very unexpected for sure. Shocked how many. Yeah. I do wonder what their what their timeline looks like for starting production. Probably a little while, but definitely they're, they're uh, getting going. Oh yeah, so it's definitely opened up a little bit more now. We're out of the crazy, crazy. Yeah. So. How are we doing on gas station availability? Okay, that one's blocked across the street there. So. Getting luckier with the lights. <laughs> nice. Entertainment billboards, then Phoenix is just full of lawyers. So now in these areas, there's a high chance of seeing some Waymos compared to where we were. Excellent. So I wouldn't be surprised. Excellent. Yeah. I don't know if you have, I haven't even seen another Waymo yet. I was like, oh, now I have. It's way up there. Is that is that one? I, it yeah. is one, yeah. I guarantee it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> so because they don't take freeways, they just take the streets. Uh, Santa Monica Boulevard, which is what we're on, goes all the way to like Hollywood and downtown. And so you usually see them on this uh, street. It's like the Waymo freeway, right? Yeah. It's like a thoroughfare kind of situation. Yeah, I noticed in San Francisco they have a couple of favorite routes as well. In, in Phoenix, Chandler, it used to be crazy on the preferred routes. Like, you would take this extremely specific neighborhood and snake through it every single time. But it seems like it's mostly disappeared over time. So this is the Los Angeles Temple. And they Sweet. have a gate at the end that's closed. But it thinks it can go through it. 
So we're gonna delete the stop right before. Sweet. I've never been here. My first time was at Waymo too. <laughs> nice. It's pretty cool. For some reason, the path just doesn't seem confident. Yeah, I wonder what factors affect um, yeah, how far in advance shows the path. I do like the, the way it shows how far the, the path is clear ahead as well. Almost there. Don't forget your phone, keys, or bag. I think this break is the concert over the, the hill. Code. No way it's open. It's open. <laughs> but only on one side, so if it can go in, it probably won't be able to get out. Okay. That's, uh, that's something. I'm going to cancel the... Yeah. Trip updated. <laughs> it's that's never, never open. been open. Oh, it's Destination just, oh, changed oh, to 10,721 gonna... Wilkins Avenue. It's not sure. It is a bit There's of a... There's a stop sign. It's not really... It's a bit of a squeeze. Oof! <laughs> that wing mirror was so close. Goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> it's still interesting. So hopefully this gate, this actual gate... You have to zoom into that on the 360, John, like one of the mirrors. Yeah. We're, uh, we're getting unlucky on the gates today, but hey, that was still something, hey? Oh. I swear if this gate is open. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if it hit. Is, it, that, uh, is that the closest any of you guys have ever seen it? Yeah. Uh, close contact? Yes. For me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it knows how wide it is, but it really knows how wide it is. They just have some yeah. weird spots here, like there's a score right next to here. And they actually have pickup spots inside the like drop-off lane for kids, so it doesn't really make sense why they would do that. Oh yeah. Compared to like not having spots at a grocery store. Maybe an employee's kid goes there. <laughs> <laughs> that that is my new favorite kind of theory for all of the weird ones. Is maybe an employee uses this. As, that's yeah, that's great. Over all these bumps. Seems to be a theme of my recent videos. Yeah, <laughs> mapped versus unmapped bumps. I, I do think they're mapped. Me too. Yeah. Even from the very beginning, as far back as I can remember. Not, not the very beginning, but you know. The map speed bumps. So this yeah. gate is actually on a hill. Ooh. So it is a bit hard for it to reverse sometimes. If it's open, I'm gonna be very sad. <laughs> Three in a row. Oh man. I've done this gate like five times. I did like that hill performance. It, it was pretty good. Yep. There we go, okay. Hey! So I'm gonna cancel the stop as soon as It's, it's gonna pull over here. So let's not let that do that. Ooh, good timing. Ooh. Did it? You're here. Not almost there. Sure it's clear before exiting <laughs> it's and still don't going. any items in the trunk. That isn't great. Let me see if... Oh, you got did it. it. Okay, so all we have Trip to do updated. is... But did it count as a stop? Good question. Destination change to Jackie Robinson. Oh, destination change, not... Um... <laughs> I guess you can continue it. Okay, let's do this. Um, check that. Let's see. Do we have more? So you see, see on the oh. visualization, it thinks it can go through. Oh, good, good. Uh, good and spot now here. it's gonna just yeah, freak it says out. No outlet, private property. <laughs> oh, there you go. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that path. The thing is, That's... this connection here is very spotty. So I wonder if it's gonna have trouble connecting to like the middle. Oh, yeah. let's pull over now. Because we just had a demonstration of that spotty connection, trying to change the destination here. I've been here for like over five minutes. Like, oh. Yeah. Now, is this on its own? Yeah, it hasn't said remote yet. Kind of feels like it. I wonder if I trained it enough to. <laughs> oh, wow. Guess you did, huh? Getting close. Goodness. 
It's me. I love how fast it reverses as yeah. well. Yeah. All that training. There's, there is no way to be 100% confident that that wasn't remote assisted, but it doesn't really, it didn't feel like it. It was weird because um, it said uh, finding a spot to pull over. Yeah. And then the text completely disappeared. Yeah. So that could have been a remote. Interesting, interesting. The thing is, every time I've had remote do it, I get the notification. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it Lord and Space stopped doing it like six times. Yeah, it does seem like they've improved the novel reverse and flip around performance as well, especially with that, that, that again, that 109 bunch of dead ends video where it did like a 20 point turn in a very extremely tight spot. I was like, that, and it did it very quickly too. So I'm like, that, what kind of crazy solving algorithm they got going on there. See it maybe going like a driveway, with, like a parking structure. Oh sure. Yeah. Any any ideas? Yeah, just throw throw them in there for sure. Might as well when we're at UCLA. Yeah. The only problem is every time I do it, it makes me like. Oh, pick a yeah. So I wonder if there's a way where I can get it. Open. Stop sign. This is sweet. Nice slot. Yeah, right over the bumps. Nicely done. how much the structure of the roads can vary mm -hmm. so much absolutely in the same service area yeah we have a little bit of everything definitely like that in, uh, in San Francisco as well all right so we got stoplight partially included by trees but we started slowing down before uh, yep yeah. perfect Aggressive to stop for this. Keep clear. Yeah. Should our final stop be like a McDonald's close to the? Oh, museum? nice. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. And sh show us the ways. How you do it? Get it breakfast for one cent or something. <laughs> well, not breakfast anymore, but you know. <laughs> McDonald's points. <laughs> yeah. There's always in and out. It's almost lunchtime. It's true. Is in and out acceptable now? It's lunchtime. Yeah. I will never turn down in and out. <laughs> so then, yeah, it's, on the viz there, it was showing 
cars up way up on the freeway. Mm-hmm. Like it was pinpointing them. Oh yeah, I noticed that too. I guess I'm gonna add the museum. That's a final stop. Oh nice. Is there like food near there as well? There's a McDonald's that's like an eight minute walk. Unless you want to go to In-N-Out. <laughs> we could go to two places today. Nice. Stop added. My vote is always in and out, but I'm going where you guys are going, so. I love in and out too. That works for me. Also, I don't think we've mentioned why we're going to the Peterson Automotive oh, Museum. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, Waymo has an exhibit inside, or the, well, the museum has a Waymo exhibit inside with the original Firefly car, I believe. Um, obviously, this one and the new Zika as well. So we'll get to take a look at that. I'm sure Joel will make a video inside, right? Yes. 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 There's a... Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't even know about the Firefly either. Like, that's pretty cool. I've never seen one in person. So this will be first time. So what's the decision? Are we hungry enough for In-N-Out? Yeah, <laughs> go on. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> get me some animal fries. They don't have it in Arizona, do they? Or? Yeah, they, they, no, do. they do. They do. They do. Not in Idaho, though. Actually, they did just open one in Idaho, but it's far. It's kind of far away. Oh, there is. Oh, here we go. Fire truck, ambulance. Yielding already. Yep. Pinpointed it right there. It's interesting because the average person's not going to put their hazards on, but Waymo does it every time. Mm-hmm. So I'll have to go back there, and but we'll see how soon after the ambulance popped out it said yielding to emergency vehicle or I even bet as soon as the siren was was audible maybe it even like pops up uh, but yeah it's, oh, this is a 40 speed limit oh there you go you're almost up to 45 i think 45 was on your bucket list wasn't it yes this <laughs> Is this part of the new service area? Yeah, it is. If okay. you actually look at the visualization, you can see part of the freeway. It's like oh, you can see cars on it. Yeah, cars. Yeah. You want to move in? You can look around. It's kind of insane. You can't even. I can't see any cars up there. Yes. Oh, it changes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've never been here in a way more ever. It's cool to see the new area. They kind of they kind of expand a little bit in every direction, right? Yes. Mostly, yeah. yeah. Nice. They finally added that Chinatown spot above Union Station, which should have been there from the start, in my opinion. Fair. Because <laughs> you could get it to go there, and I pulled it over there before as well. <laughs> I think that's in an upcoming video. Oh yeah, yeah it really is rendering the freeway map. maps. Totally mapped. Look at that. Wow. That's Number of lanes. Everything. Cars. Yeah. That makes me so sad. Oh, here What's comes the glitch. glitch. Visual glitch. Love when this happens. It's a white mode. We just had one of those um, not too long ago in Phoenix. The road all screwed up. I think the plan is we'll go to the in and out close to the mini depot and then the museum. Ooh, mini depot. Is that both close? Sure. We have to get the way mode to go up into the mini depot. Yeah, because I didn't yeah. see that. And then you're, maybe you can... Actually, no, I can recreate your penguin dance. Um, <laughs> if you're working in Premiere, you could just send me the the PR proj. But so you've seen this much before. Yeah, where the colors invert. Yeah. Um, it's and it was in a weird shape too, almost as if it was a handmade mess up. But I kind of don't think so. I, it makes me wonder um, how much of this is done by hand. Because yeah, this is a pretty big glitch here. Usually it only lasts a little bit. Uh, I'll definitely send you the penguins. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's literally just like a green screen stuff thing. And you can just chroma key it out. Perfect. That's the music in there already. Incredible. That's just the way the word art comes on screen from the <laughs> left, the bottom left corner and just pulsates. I'm like, this is the best thing ever, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. I was scared it was going to be a little bit too much. It's handling this really well. I'm, I never really go in like any loopy type of like roads. Oh, we got a dude staring at us. There we go. I wish it just merged on the 405. Yeah. Just go right on there. That was very assertive. Oh yeah, because that, yeah. 
people come in the other direction at a high rate of speed. It's nice to see 40. Yeah, it, this feels more at home. Yeah, there's the freeway on this here. So once this goes through here earlier, when it abandoned it, oh, that's how we just made a loop to come back to it. Is that what all of that was? I think so. It's just for this. Oh wow! I'm gonna add the CVS depot. Cool. Is that the mini? The mini, mini one? Yeah, the mini one. Okay. The mini one. Got it. The only known one. Yeah. Fair, fair. Trip updated. So Sky, how many rides, minutes, miles do you have in LA? Oh yes, let's, <laughs> let's talk about that. <laughs> um, I think it's about almost 270 rides, right. just LA. About 1,500 miles, I want to say. I think wow. it's, and then over 10,000 yeah. minutes, because traffic, I mean, you saw us waiting at that light. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Oh, it's going over here. Oh, please, oh. please, 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 please. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Okay, how's that going to do this? So the reason I asked that is because updated. I want to make, a, I guess, an appeal to Joel's audience because if anyone's watching who has more than Sky, they probably watch Joel's channel, right? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> it abandoned going over there. So if you have more than Sky, let us know because we think he's the number one. In LA. I want to say, yeah. Because yeah. no, in... Phoenix is easier to rack up miles. So I, I'm at 192, 2084, 6106. Well, I'm at like a little over half the amount of minutes. So 10,000. It's pretty impressive. Well, that yeah. was pretty simple for it to get out. I mean, it, I don't yeah. know why it. It was a little heavy on the brakes there. Yeah. yeah. That was all on its own, though. That's not mapped. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you really pay attention to the visual, the car is also really, it's its displaying what angle and tilt it's at as well. Oh, wow. Which is kind of insane. Like, with every little tiny bump. Um, so does Waymo uh, actually drive cars all in these areas and streets to map them? Really? Do, do they? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just asking. How much of that is automated? Again, yeah, how many times can can a car just come by and refresh the map? Is yeah, I'm just saying, like, has saying? a Wono well, has like a Waymo mapping car. Really went to that oh. area, did the same thing we just did. Oh. I mean, it's such a weird area to even go. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, that's neat. yeah that would make sense. Because I've seen them driving around mapping. At least that's what I think they're doing. Um, well, this is a bit of an interesting 